Introducing the Pi Car. So if somebody asked me how I came to the idea of the Pi, it's quite simple. So when you're on a summer touch your car and the body of the car become very hot. And I can remember a couple of years ago, one professor told me, Holger, can you imagine how much energy we have in the body of the car? And I told him no. And he said to me, look, to make the frame and the body of the car as hot as it is today, like 60 degrees probably, he said to me, this 60 degrees and the whole body of the car, there is more power collected than a household of four people need for the whole month. I said, wow, this is a lot of, a lot of energy. And, and what are we are doing with the combusting engine? We start the engine, we start the air condition, we open the windows and we destroy the energy. So the energy is destroyed, the energy is wasted. And this was a point where the, where the idea came to say, wow, so we have so much energy, we need to find a technical way to use this kind of energy, to convert it. But as long as we have the combusting engines, that makes no sense because we have the gas in the tank. Why we need this kind of energy? What is there with the heat? But now we change, we come in the next stage of mobility, we come to the electrical cars. And probably at this moment it makes a lot of sense to use this kind of energy. And there was only the question, how? How we can convert this energy, all this heat, all, the, all this was collected? Because a car is a harvester, it's harvesting a lot of different spectrum and energy. And we need only something what is able to convert it into the electrical power what is needed. And there the neutrino voltaic technology come in the game because this is exactly that what we are doing. So we are, have developed a converter. The converter works because we have two different materials which have a, a gap in the moving. So we have a graphene, it's shaking around and we have the lithium, it's very stable. So the graphene is shaking 100 times stronger than the silicium. This is necessary because we need something what is move. And if somebody asks me why it's move, there are the probably hundreds of answers why it move. We gave the name neutrino energy at that time, but we know it's not only the neutrinos what lets the graphene shake. There are many, many influences, but we don't care about why it's shaking. We care that it's shaking. And on the basis that it's shaking, we understand we found it. We found something to use the power, the energy, what is... Con now we are able to convert all this energy into electrical power. And now when we come to the electrical car, this is that what has happened in the at the moment. We have a big transformation process. We understand that we can use this technology. But we need to have it in a car, so there are many questions of how we can implement it. And this is exactly what is the car pi means. So we have a, a body with around 10 square meters surface, but 10 uh, square meters surface is not large enough. So fortunately we have a, a converter what is able to stable. So when we have only 10 layers with 10 square meters, we already have 100 square meters. If we have 100 layers with a 10 square meters, we have a 1,000 square meters. And 200 layers means 2,000 square meters. So even when the cell is quite weak, 2,000 square meters of something what is weak finally gives enough power. And this is important to understand. And the second what is important to understand is that the traffic in the world is not a traffic like we have it here in Germany. Mostly, 95% of the worldwide traffic is happening in urban cities with uh, cars which are driving less than 16 km an hour on average. So it's a very slowly, very slowly traffic. And in, also in countries which are, they have a temperature, high temperatures around. So this is a perfect match with the high temperatures, with the slowly traffic, 
and with the new te and with the new technology of electrical cars. So we will implement in the in the Pi car this kind of converting cells, and so the car just parking around. Because you have to imagine in Germany we have a 50 million cars. How many charging sta stations you want to have? How many how many hours you want to wait? And for this kind of urban traffic, this will be the ideal match. And it's, I'm very happy that uh, we will start this operation. And I'm, I'm sure and I'm totally convinced in a couple of years, this kind of technology will be implemented in probably many cars because the car Pi is not only our car Pi, we will, we will create it. The car pie is a technology, and what, what I think is that later a lot of manufacturers will use this pie technology. And for the people who already have an electric car, I just I like to tell you that you not have to be sad, because we will also create some, some smart tuning parts. So the tuning parts of the future is a range extending tuning. Tuning of the future means make more range for your electrical cars. And this is probably just in exchanging some of the body parts with a new technology. And finally, this is what we are doing and I'm very happy that we have such a huge and wonderful scientific board and within the next weeks and months you will have more and hear more t details about that what we are doing. Thank you very much. Neutrino Energy Group's team of highly driven and inventive energy specialists and scientists from around the world, led by Holger Thorsten Schubart, is committed to unveiling the Pi car within the next three years, and in doing so, making the renewable future a reality, because the science of today is most definitely tomorrow's technology.